So on a scale of 10 to Eagles fans, how was your weekend? Oh, mine? It sucked. Thank you for asking. Ah, the Eagles went down to D.C. for their annual prostate exam bent over in the middle of FedEx Field and, you know. You like that? No. Fucking no. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Ugh. And then you factor in the Giants winning with Odell Beckham Jr.'s questionable sexual fetish with the kicking net, and then the Cowboys making it look easy against Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, and overall, it was a giant dick punch of a Sunday. Hi, yes, um, I have a question? Yes, you in the back, short bald guy, go ahead. Um, yeah, um... The fuck? I mean, seriously, what, what, what's going on here? What, 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 what happened? What happened? What happened? This is the same team that smoked the Steelers. This, this, this is like the same team who had like the number one ranked defense. The, the number one in time of possession? I heard that right. Right? Right? Th this was the same team who was thought by many to be like the team to beat in the division. And now we're like the only team getting beat in the division. What kind of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde shit is this? I mean, holy shit, this is like three years of Chip Kelly, like, just like, crammed, crammed into five games. Like, at first, we're like, oh, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. And then, three weeks later, what the fuck? And can we just get this out of the way, okay? All right, here we go. Everybody, say it with me. Thanks, Lane Johnson! Cause now we've got Hapa Mandinga, Hoopy Doopy, Hakuna Matata, Hungry Hungry Hippo, Hip Hop Hooray! Oh, hey! Uh, how you gonna block him, Vitae? Getting pushed around like a sleeping cow on some Kevin Hart shit like. No, he wasn't ready. Jesus Christ on a trampoline. And Jalen Mills, do me a favor, all right? Stop wagging your finger in the air like you did Kembe Matumbo. Deshaun Jackson been burning you all game, all right? You want to put your finger somewhere? Put it up your nose. That way you might actually get a pick. <laughs> and the defense. Well, what the shit, man? Jim Schwartz, one week we're worried about you going off and getting another head coaching job after a couple years. The next thing, I'm, I'm having, like, flashbacks of Juan Castillo and Jim Washburn, like, Deja Boo! And Doug. Dougie Fresh. What the fuck was with the play calling at the end, bro? I will call him Mini Andy. I'm starting to think that hiring Doug Peterson was like Donald Trump running for president. At first, we thought they were just, like, joking and everything. But then when we realized they were serious, we were like, I don't know, maybe this might work. But now? <laughs> being an Eagles fan is like being a chick. <laughs> it is. Like, ladies, you all got that one friend who, despite every lousy relationship she's been in, she still, God bless her, goes into every relationship thinking it's going to be good. Like, you know what? I know last time I said that all men were pigs and I'm writing off men and I hate men. But you know what? This time it's going to be different. This time, this guy right here, he's different. He's different. We're like soulmates. Like, I look into his soul and he, he speaks to me. It's like we finish each other's sentences, you know? It's real this time. I know that last time I said it was real and it didn't really work out because that guy was a complete asshole. But this time it's going to be real. This time it's going to be happy. Happiness. You know what? I finally deserve happiness through all I've been through. You know what I mean? It's just like, like everything I've been through is now just leading me up to this point and this guy right here because now we're going to get into this relationship. We're going to have some notebook shit. All right. We're going to make some babies and make a family and we're going to be happy because I deserve happiness in my life. And I know the last time I said it was different and this, and, and it was just the same bullshit, but this time it's going to be different. This time it's real and it's magical and it's special. And then three weeks later, it's just, why does this keep happening? Man, I'm such an asshole! And that's what it feels like. That's that's what it feels like. And ladies, I'm 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 sorry because now now I get it. It's just like the Eagles fan base because every year we go into it, we fall in love. We fall in love. We're filled with excitement and hope and enthusiasm and, and, and we're excited and anxious to see them every single week. And then at the end, they just fucking. Break our hearts. Oh, and wait, boys and girls, the news gets better because guess who rolls into Lincoln Financial Field next week? Oh, yeah, good old Sammy Sleeves and the undefeated Minnesota Vikings. Oh, Kenny. 
Well, hi, guys. Remember me? It's your good old buddy, Sam Bradford. Boy, oh boy, things sure are swell out there in Minnesota. How have you all been? What? Why are you crying? Oh, gee whiz, I sure do feel awful. Here, use some of my sleeves to dry your eyes. Oh, boy, this is just going to be fucking... Listen. Eagles fans, the last five games have been like an emotional roller coaster, all right? We've been up here, we've been down here, and the truth lies somewhere in the middle, all right? I, I, I don't know where, but it's somewhere in the middle, and we have the next 11 games to figure it the fuck out. And look, we should have known better than to think that the Eagles were as good as they looked against the Steelers, but... There was no way they were as bad as they looked against the Redskins. Can't be. They, they, they can't be. Can't be. Can't be. Right? Right? Anybody? Right? Right?